Hi guys, so for today's video, I was inspired by this new shade of liquid lipstick from Kat Von D Beauty. Starting out with just brows for foundation, I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation, and I'm also testing out the XO Beauty Flawless Finish Sponge. I'm starting out on my chin because that's where my breakouts are hanging out. Starting with the sponge, I unfortunately hated it. It held water more than it absorbed water, like it just felt heavy with water and not expanded, and it literally felt like a Nerf Ball material. I want to try this foundation with a regular sponge because I actually think that I liked it and I usually hate water foundations. But like I said, the sponge really made me hate everything that I put on my face. So I'm going to have to definitely test it out with something different. Using the Locket Concealer to highlight, I'm just putting a little on my under eyes, on the forehead, on the tip of my nose, the chin, and around the mouth. This concealer is full coverage, although it doesn't look like it. I think that's because the sponge sucked up a lot of the product. And the sponge's defense, though, my under eye bags were extra on this day. So. Setting the concealer with the RCMA No Color Powder. Again, harping on the sponge. Since it doesn't really absorb and expand with the water, the powder didn't really work out with a regular beauty blender or like Real Technique sponge. They hold the moisture. So when I use the setting powder, it's adding moisture and looks flawless. But with this, it's more like baking, which I don't do because my under eyes are so creasy and wrinkly. And baking just emphasizes that. But if you like baking, then this sponge could work for you. Setting the rest of my face with the Inglot Pressed Powder on my E41. I'm just patting that wherever I haven't put the RCMA powder. And then I suffered a loss. My Vanilla Dust Setting Powder from Mascara Beauty shattered, which has happened to my Mascara Beauty bronzer too, so they are just very fragile. And I just pat that over the concealer areas again with my E50 for extra brightness. Using Chocolate Soleil from the Power of Makeup, I'm going in the hollows of the cheeks with a Real Techniques brush and I'm also doing the under chin area, the temples and down the sides of the nose. Also in that palette, I'm using I Will Always Love You. It's an orangey peachy blush, which is my favorite color. Priming with the NYX Eye Base in Nude with a Crown Concealer brush. And then I'm using shadows from the Power of Makeup palette, but they're all super basic colors. This is Painkiller, but it's just a couple of shades darker than my skin color. And then this is Makeup and Chill. It's a deep matte brown. Taking that in the crease and above, and then taking Painkiller onto the lid. Using the L'Oreal Brow Plumper now that I'm done with all my face powders. And then I'm using the Too Faced Sketch Marker to do my liner off camera. And then I wanted to warm up the eye with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. For lashes, I'm using Stella from Coco Lashes. Using my Juvia's Place Lash Adhesive, I just set the band down in the middle and then place the ends with tweezers. These are my favorite lashes. And then I'm going back over with the eyeliner so that you can't see the band. And then once again with more dark brown in the crease, I'll be using Ampla Mascara on my bottom lashes and then going over that with the Lancome Hypno Sample. These are a great combo. And then I'm taking Ivy on the brow bone. I left my face matte today. Finishing with the star, this is Project Chimps from Kat Von D Beauty. This is such an awesome cause. 20% of the sales on this shade go towards Project Chimp. They provide lifetime sanctuary for chimpanzees that have been used for medical research. They're non-profit, and I'm going to leave the link down below. And if you don't cry, you have no soul. <laughs> and that's it, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching.